Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new short series with Tara. This is, I think I'll just be calling it the Dark Brotherhood Pentelus Oculus series. As I mentioned in the final episode of the main quest series, Tara here is going to deal with the Dark Brotherhood and join the Pentelus Oculus. So this should just be, I assume, a couple of episodes. Um, we, you know, spoiler alert, <laughs> we will destroy the Dark Brotherhood and uh, Terra will join the Pentelus Oculus. And I do have a particular mod for that. So they give you some extra quests. So we'll, we'll do some of those quests. Um, the reason I do this is Terra as a character as if you um, follow the Rigmore mod series in Rigmore of Cyrodiil Reboot, when you meet Terra, it is, she is a Pentelus Oculus mm. soldier. So she is part of that elite forces and she's particularly elite in the moment in the sense that she is the personal bodyguard of Rigmore. And the way I take the story, she's recently been assigned as such when you meet her in the Rigmore of Cyrodiil reboot. So this is my way through YouTube to kind of tell how that happened. Uh, I am writing about it in the blog or I will. I'm just not at that point yet in the blog writing. So when you play as the Dragonborn, your choices are destroy the Dark Brotherhood or, you know, join them. Um, so we'll destroy the Dark Brotherhood here for the blog. I'll, because she's not the Dragonborn in the blog, I'll be writing that differently. But if you've been reading the blog, you already know she's taken out a few Dark Brotherhood assassin, assassins for, for reasons of someone they are pursuing. So I thought this would be fun. Just a couple episodes and then I will get into the Rigmore of Cyrodiil reboot a complete playthrough of that mod which is DLC size so much like the Rigmore of Bruma I anticipate it um, that one being probably over 30 episodes so I wanted to do this one first as this is something that Dragonborn Terra would do before she heads off to <laughs> Cyrodiil. I th let me check what year it is too I was going to advance the, the time well, it's still late in the year 201 on my calendar, but I'm going to fix that because from a story standpoint, this would be probably around the year 203. All right, I've been enjoying watching the dragon in the background in the distance. I guess he's not going to come anywhere near one helm. So to start the Dark Brotherhood, either way, you get maybe told by a guard or you ask around or you overhear a certain conversation but if you play Skyrim you know that at some point someone tells you about this kid here in Windhelm who is performing the Black Sacrament so that happened and I have this miscellaneous quest already telling me to talk to Aventus or Retino. so he lives here in Windhelm so we're going to go in there, we're going to talk to him, and see what he's really up to. Um, I've mentioned before, I've got several mods here for Windhelm, so we will, um, this is the bridge overhaul one. of capital, uh, I think, or Windhelm capital expansion. And I have an overhaul of the Great Quarter. So I've, uh, if you do them in the right order with a couple of patches, they do work well together. So you'll we'll get a glance at that since it's daytime.
since it's daylight, I'll show you a little bit of what the capital expansion does. Uh, everyone, get into position. Thank you. <laughs> like it's like actors running to their points at the stage. Oh, and just in time for a snowstorm. Visibility, fantastic. Um, anyway, I like the capital one helm expansion. This isn't even a city I spend much time in, but it's just kind of cool to. I'm not going to say spruce it up because it's that kind of a city. It doesn't really spruce well, but it does have. Um, it's nice to change it up. So there's some extra buildings back here that aren't normally here, including some unique shops. There's some quests with the capital uh, Windhelm expansion, and I believe the great, the great quarter one has uh, a few. I have not really played them. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a playthrough of those, because I haven't explored them myself. So they, they might be fun. Also, as a quick note, I normally was going to do. Uh, I intended to do the Civil War playthrough, and I do... Oh, oh, someone's... Someone's dead. I do intend to um, do the Civil War as a series. But I decided not to do it um, before the Dark Brotherhood, just be for time. I would like to get into the Rigmore Cyrodiil reboot full playthrough. And the Civil War will take time. This takes time. The main quest took time, so... Oh, thank you, sir. I like how everyone just immediately knows what you look like. In this, these olden times here of no cameras, but everyone knows what you look like if you're the Dragonborn. Anyway, I'm running through a, another section of Windhelm that's expanded. With uh, new characters to visit. So I'm running through it. I haven't played the, um, I have not done the Civil War questline yet on this save. I will do it um, actually after the fact. And I'll record that and at some point I'll release it as a series. Because really in Terra's playthrough she would first join the Imperial Legion. She's loyal to the Empire. And then she would eventually leave that after the Civil War. And she would then end up in the Pentos Oculus. So we're just, Again, for YouTube I'd be time a lot constraints. A lot happier with a belly full of meat. I would too. Um, anyway, we're going to hold off on that. So one of the things I mentioned is, uh, of course, if you fight for the Empire for Civil War, Windhelm here gets attacked. And I do find with all these these mods that change up Windhelm, there's it works still pretty well with Civil War. There'll be a little bit of a hiccup with some um, NPCs running through the path. Um, but it, it still works well um, overall, so I haven't had... I've done one playthrough like that where we did the Civil War. And I still... Um, I think some of the extra NPCs from that mod get... Uh, from the expansion mod do end up getting killed because they'll fight for the storm cloaks. But otherwise... Um, it, worked, it does well. So, anyway, this is um, we're looking across parts of the Great Border that are expanded. So there's uh, some raised areas you can run and whatnot. So I, I like the view. This gives it just it makes Windhelm a lot more interesting. All right, let's get down and let's just get on with it. Taking too long as it is. We've got a, a boy to go see to see if he's getting himself into any trouble. So we will approach from the traditional area. Up the main gate. You look stuck, sir. Can't see in the snow. We'll come over here. I don't know if we'll see a certain conversation or if I just need to go see him. Mm 
Yeah, it looks like, um, again, you're, there we go. Uh, that marker is popping up because uh, there is another mod I have installed, and I have not gone through that yet, um, that after these events, you have a chance to repair the the boys' residence and expand, and uh, I'll have to look it up. I've installed it a long time ago, but I haven't ever actually played it, so, so maybe I'll throw that in. At some point, I will link that mod as soon as I can remember what the name of it is. So. All right, we've missed out on the conversation you can sometimes catch uh, with a, a child talking to, uh, I think it's a parent or some adult, about um, about uh, the art, about, uh, I can't even remember his, how to pronounce his name, but Aventus, there's a, there'll be a conversation here about Aventus and what he's possibly up to. But that's probably occurred the first time I came to Windhelm and Tara here dismissed it. So, let's just go in. We were told to see what he's up to. I'm sure he'll leave his door unlocked. Or not. Hold on. Let's see. It's not even that late in the morning. You know what? No one cares. We're going to unlock the door. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet Mother, sweet Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. This doesn't sound good. Sweet Mother, sweet Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood oh, and fear. Oh, child, what are you up to? Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, night mother. You've come at last! I knew you would! Are you all right? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, you think, uh, um, just, uh, by the way, he is, I've got the, uh, kids are all right mod, which changed up his look from the vanilla look. Best not to say anything. Let's see what he's up to. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... she died. Uh -huh. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Rifton. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! Hmm. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grawlog the Kind! Oh, that's a request. Okay, I've got an assignment. I need to go assassinate somebody. All right, kid. Not really into out-and-out -out murder. Well, let's go to this orphanage and... Let's see if this uh, woman running it is as unkind as he, as he says she is. There's the orphanage over there. I recently added Lantern Lanterns of Skyrim 2. Uh, I was running, and again, this comes from WizKid. I was running uh, see, Master Tamriel Lights 
for a long time in la la Lanterns of Skyrim 2 and incorporates that and does a lot more, so switched it out. Really love what it is with outdoor lighting. Okay, Honor Hall Orphanage. Let's go see what's going on. Shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, girl, and thank, thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Well, that doesn't sound good. I think there's something to what this kid said. Y'all can just ignore me. Let me just complete stranger walk to your orphanage. And, and do you really let her talk to the kids like this? What do you want? You have no business being in here. Oh, I see she's pleasant. Constance! Yes, Grelod. We haven't had an adoption in months. At this rate, we'll be stuck with these brats forever. We need to get the word out. A, a sale, if need be. Sale? Okay, you don't, uh, okay. What? I'll deal with it. She does sound terrible. And Tara here comes from a dramatic childhood, so she doesn't take kindly to adults being cruel to children. So, you know. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do the task. It's also the only way to advance um, the Dark Brotherhood is to actually do this. So let me see. I don't think I have any invisibility. I also don't think... Uh, I don't remember if you really get a bounty or not for this one. So let's... Uh, just... Yep, you sit right there. while I miss. Well, uh, don't mind me. I am... Um... I mean... Leave us alone. I'm just got access. I submit. Oh, oh, no, no. It wasn't me. No bow and arrow. See if the kids say anything. Someone has killed Grillin! <laughs> I cannot best you! Grillin is dead! Aventus did it! <laughs> oh, I Hooray! Grillin the kind is dead at last! Well, I'll the say. kids are happy. Yay! Hmm. Aventus really did it! He got the Dark Brotherhood to kill him. I cannot best you! <laughs> Don't worry, Constance. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Hooray! Also wanted to check, we I believe... The Corella or Enough. let's check her. Oh, oh yeah. This is I cannot best you. inappropriate for an orphanage, I think. Victory is yours. Yeah, I something submit. not so good was going on here. Ventus took off when he said those things about killing Grillid. 
I never imagined he was serious. He was. You're one person, and you can solve so many problems. I wonder at the possibilities. I don't when think. took off, when he I, said I don't think that's a great lesson you're learning, kids. Grilled, I never imagined he was serious. Killing people doesn't usually solve no problems. More. I yield. I yield. You know, Constance. All this was going on under your nose. I'm gonna have to let it slide, though. Someone's gotta take care of the kids. Just until they're adopted. Leave us. Leave us alone. Let's go talk to Aventus. Is she, you know? She is dead. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like uh. I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. What kid? That. How terrible has your life been that you were okay with arranging an assassination? Let's check out what we got. And his fair family heirloom. Poor kid, doesn't have anything left. Is, um,. There you go. Plate. That's not worth a ton. Poor kid. And this house is in pretty terrible condition, too. I'm gonna, you know, grab some supplies here, though. I'm gonna take that part. And the nightshade. Again, I do have a mod that starts out with, um, can, um, kind of, re um, update the house here from a decrepit, because, um, Inventive will still, he'll just live here and stay here. So, someone made a mod that kind of has someone take over and adopt him, and spruces up the place. When I grow up, I'm going to be an assassin. That way I can help lots of children, just like you! That's not the way to help a lot of kids, kid. Oh, you poor thing. But, you know, at least the Dark Brotherhood doesn't have the claws in you right now. There's hope for you. And again, that, that mod I have um, does kind of allow him to have a better life. I don't know if it just kicks in automatically or not, so I'll, I'll look for that because I'm curious about it. Okay, so, you know, things are done for now. So we're going to head to a warmer climate and we'll, we'll head over to White Run where Terra has a house and can get out of this blizzard. Got something to say? Yep. Oh, I've here we go. You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Of course. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Um, who's it from? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, thank you, sir. It's taken a couple of days, or mm, three days, I think. Let's read this mysterious note. Oh, there we go. Black hand, and a we know. 
think they're on to me. So, next stage in the mod is going to sleep. So let's do that. This is not my house. Sleep well. Uh, but where, where am I? And who are you? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? You know about that? Half of Skyrim knows. Old what? hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. I don't think I like where this is going. You see, that little Eretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. I'll give you the plate. But apparently, you want me to murder someone? Who? Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Look, I'll have no part of this. This insanity. Now that is a shame. But what you fail to realize is that you involved yourself in this insanity when you took Greylod's life. You made your choice. Now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. Mm -hmm. You don't leave this shack until someone dies. Well. We'll see about that. Well, we'll talk to him. But I think I already know who's gonna be taken out. Whoever this is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. That sounds a little personal. So, would someone pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Well, come on. You can tell me. We're all friends here. <laughs> The real question is, would someone have be killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Oh, that's not funny. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have no. people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Mm-hmm. You You're what. not pleasant. You release me, and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal and butcher you in the street. It is a win-win. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. Well, what do you have to say? Get these things off of me! First. 
Would someone pay to have you killed? Excuse me. What kind of question is that? Look, it's all right. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. I don't have the time or the patience to be nice. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. So who are you? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. Uh-huh. Pleasant. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here. I don't know if I feel for you or your kids. Hmm. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. Of course you can hear us. We're standing right next to you, man. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear. All right, Mr. Fearless. Would someone pay to have you killed? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Oh, calm down, son. Look, shh, shh. don't be afraid. You can tell me. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh... But you're not going to kill me, right? So, uh, who are you? My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? Yeah, there's a difference between a soldier and a mercenary. You remember that. Ah, uh, what did I do? Uh, please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Okay. I've got a decision to make. And out of everyone in this shed, Shaq, I know who I don't like. Well done. Thank you. There we go. Destroy the Dark Brotherhood. See what you got on you. The key out of the shack. Oh, that's a nice dagger. And some sneaky, deadly clothing. All right, I guess I will let you irritating people go. Because, you know. I have a temper, but I'm not that mean. Come now, my friend. Haven't we played this game long enough? Untie me, and we can all go our separate ways. Yeah, I know. Ah, you see? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Let's the two of us just forget we ever met, hmm? No, oh, believe me, I will forget all about you. All right, Mom, we'll let you go home. You cut these bindings this minute. You hear me? Oh, you shut up. Cut these bindings right now. Well, it's about damn time. Mm -hmm. Capturing a woman from her home, keeping her bound like an animal. Ridiculous. You're welcome. Saved your life. Whatever. Please, please release me. Cut my bonds. All right, Mr. Mercenary. Might want to adjust your title. Oh, thank you, thank you. 
I'll never speak of this to anyone. I promise. That's only because you're embarrassed. Okay. I don't know who you are or what's going on here, but you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh huh. I don't think there's anything interesting in the shack to steal, but while well, we're here, yeah, empty. Report Astrid's death to a guard. Let's go find us a guard. In a murder over in Riften, some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Oh, you don't say. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Yeah, me too. Uh, just so you know, I killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. You did what? By you heard gods, me. You're serious. You better mm -hmm. report this to Commander Marrow right away. He's at the Penutus Arculatus outpost, up in Dragon Bridge. Until next time. Okay. I've heard of the Penutus Oculus. Checked it out. I've been looking Left. for you. Uh, well, Got what now? I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage at Rifton. She asked oh, you me don't to say. These notices to everyone I met. Oh, fantastic. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah, she, she may not want to give me an adoption letter. I mean, you know, she did see me kill somebody. You know, apparently let half the Skyrim know. Anyway, Pentelus. Oculus. Terra's quite interested. She noticed their location. Last time she passed through Dragon Bridge. So let's head over. Talk to this commander. Alright, we've arrived. Lovely weather. And there we go. Let's go inside, see if the commander's here. like a commander. Spiffy armor. Out with it. Out with it. The guard sent me. I killed the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. The leader of the Dark Brotherhood? You mean Astrid? Yep. Dead? Yep. And this is no jest? Nope. Ha! Huh. This is a stroke of good fortune. Long have I watched the Dark Brotherhood's movement, waiting for the time to strike. That time is now. My agents have recently acquired the passphrase to their sanctuary. It is. Silence, my brother. Every assassin in that hole must be put down. You, my friend. You've slain their leader. This honor should be yours. Do this, and you will be rewarded most handsomely. You don't want to, like, spend every... Every, we have a everybody? chance to destroy the Dark Brotherhood forever. It's all up to you. Oh, okay, all on me. Th no pressure. I mean, you, you have like we soldiers have a here. To destroy the Dark Brotherhood forever. It's all up to you. Okay. I mean, I like your look, man, but really, you just—I take out one assassin and let me just go wipe the rest of them out. Want to come along? No. Okay. I get it.
Well, all right then. Terra has a job to do. She's going to go wipe out the Dark Brotherhood in their sanctuary. We'll do that on the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.